Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. We'll hear from Mike Fenner in a moment. Tom Decker has the night off. Here locally, only one region championship was on the line this evening with a Region 6 rematch out in Harbor Creek. For more on that, let's send it over to Mike Fenner with more on the game. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Jay. That's right. After scoring a 34-7 win at General McLean earlier this season, Harbor Creek could win Region 6 outright with a win tonight to maintain its unbeaten season. A McLean win means they'd share the region crown. The Huskies taking the field at Paul J. White Stadium. Tonight, trying to pick up a win over Jim Wells, General McLean, Lancers. Here, first quarter, opening minutes with no score, and Casey Smith going to pump fake and find Austin Vaughn over the middle for the 31-yard touchdown. Makes it 7-0 Huskies. Lancers get all the way down to the Harbor Creek two-yard line on the doorstep. Fourth and goal. They'll go for it, but the Harbor Creek defense rises up and makes the goal line stand, and they will not allow points here. Second quarter, after a long Harbor Creek drive, it's a two-yard touchdown run on the Cam Williamson give. He did lose it there briefly, but they say he crossed beforehand. 14-0. Later in the half, less than five minutes to play. And how about the fumble here? It's Jackson Scrutchins recovering for General McLean, but the drive would stall, so Harbor Creek gets it back. Cam Williamson going to tote the rock here. 20 yards for the touchdown as he carries that score into the half. 20 to nothing, Harbor Creek in the third. More from the home team. This time through the air. The senior QB Casey Smith finding Merrick Bauer on the drag route. Call it 28 nothing after a two point conversion. Later in the quarter, Bauer getting involved on the ground out of the wild Husky formation. We'll call it. He scores from 40 yards out. 35-0 Harbor Creek after three quarters of play and then fewer than eight minutes to play. It's Williamson on his third rushing touchdown, topping 100 yards on the ground, three scores, and the Huskies win it 42 to nothing as they win Region 6 outright and stay perfect, moving to 6-0, shutting out General McLean. Willie runs hard, and he, but he knows he, he needs those guys up front to do the job for him. So credit to our offensive line and uh, everyone else. Feels awesome. Like We worked hard all year. Um, just defending the title from last year, knowing all the expectations that everybody had, all the hype for our team, and our returning players did pretty good. It means a lot because thinking about in the summer, not thinking that we might not be able to play. I mean, and just being out there playing with all of our, all of our buddies and stuff, and winning a region champion is just great. I just think our defense played well tonight. We were on our assignments all night, and uh, we came downhill and hit, and there's really nothing bad to say about us. On the Lewis Fitness and Performance scoreboard, Harbor Creek blanks General McLean to win 42 to nothing and move to 6 and 0, winning Region 6 outright. Casey Smith 183 yards passing and two TD passes. Cam Williamson with 118 yards rushing on the ground and three scores. Jay, let's send it back over to you. All right, thanks, Mike. Region 7 champion Fort LaBeouf paying a visit to Girard this evening. Bison in Yellow Jacket territory and on the move, but they would put the ball on the ground. And there for the recovery is Austin Barrett. Unfortunately for Gerard, they would not be able to do anything on that ensuing possession. Next Fort LaBeouf drive, this time it's Tristan Harris. Takes the rock, follows a couple lead blockers, turns the corner, sheds a tackle, and he's off to the races. 7-0 Fort LaBeouf in the first quarter. Later on in that quarter, Jackets forced to punt. This time Fort LaBeouf coming up with the special teams block and the ball falls into the arms of Hayden Skinner. Nice decent return, getting it inside the 40-yard line. On the ensuing drive, Alex Blos rolling out of the pocket, has some time, sheds a possible sack, hits Jack Rimpa for a third down completion and a fresh set of downs. A couple plays later, they're going to go back up the middle to Harris. Stays on his feet, then gives a nice stiff arm right there, gets into the end zone for a touchdown. Fort LaBeouf. Goes on to outscore Gerard this evening, 49 to 7. The Bison improving to 6 and 0 on the season. Region 4 champion Northwestern on the road at Maplewood. Down to Guys Mills we go. Wildcats and Tigers in a close, low-scoring battle here for Northwestern. It's Eric Steinley with a quick catch for a first down. Remember, they won the region outright last Saturday and just trying to go perfect for the regular season. It's Ryan Toole going for the deep pass here. But this one is broken up in the end zone as Northwestern turns the ball over on downs. In the end, though, it's the Wildcats over Maplewood, 13-12 the final.
Over in Cory, the Beavers were home to Northeast. The great pickers striking first, and if you got to the game late, you missed a big one. Seth Fuller fields the kickoff at the two-yard line, and then he kicks it into another gear. He goes 98 yards for the opening score, 6-0 Northeast. Cory's first possession offensively would end in a turnover, and it's recovered by Northeast. This one just went back and forth. A lot of points in this one. Fans being entertained between these two teams. The Beavers' defense would rise to the challenge this time. They would stop Northeast on fourth and goal. On to the second quarter of play now. The Beavers getting on the scoreboard. Nathan Lesher hits Sammy Fisher with a terrific pitch and catch score. Corey in front, 7-6 to six early on. They would go on to win in double overtime. The final score, 42 to 34. Over to Union City we go where Randy Gunther's Bears were hosting Matt Morgan's Iroquois Braves in second half action. Kickoff here, Bears leading 14-6 when Iroquois attempts to onside kick and takes a few hops. Fielded by Skylar Olmstead, who puts on a few good moves, and that's going to create some good field position on a return past midfield for Union City. That'll set up the run here for David Rosinski up the middle, taking it here for a big run as the Bears enter the red zone. Then it's Daniel Ruckman taking it inside and showing off the quickness and some power as he bulldozes his way into the end zone. Union City on the 22-yard touchdown, extending that lead. They'll go on to pick up a win, 26-20 over Iroquois tonight. Let's head south where Meadville paid a visit to Conneaut area. We'll pick things up in the second half of play. The Bulldogs with the ball, and they would give it to Tamaj Lyons-Glover. From about 30 yards out, just simply outruns everybody, covering those 30-plus yards for the touchdown. Meadville trailing 14-13. Then it's Lyons-Glover getting the ball again and doing it again. But this time, he's going to cover 70 yards to pay dirt. Eagles would answer right back, though. Zachary Walker would haul in this nice catch coming up as he will be able to score, getting into the end zone. Conneaut also tacking on the two-point try. They led 22-21 at that point, but it's Meadville coming back late to win it by the final score, 27-22. 